All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today leading up to the third episode for The Walking Dead Season 9. This one is called Warning Signs. In this video, we're going to first take a look at all the new uh, preview pictures we have for the episode and then we'll do a Q&A with your guys' questions afterwards. And I'll put the link in the description as per usual to thewalkingdead.com so you guys can go ahead and check out these new pictures for the third episode of The Walking Dead Season 9. If you guys missed it, we did lots of videos this weekend for the second episode. A little bit controversial because I, I liked the episode, uh, but I didn't think it was great. And a lot of people really, really enjoyed episode two. So I, I'm happy to hear that, though. You know, I'm happy to hear, though, if you guys are really enjoying, you know, certain episodes of The Walking Dead and everything. That's great because uh, ultimately, I think with this half, <laughs> I just want The Walking Dead to JSS. I just want it to survive somehow. I don't know what this is going to look like, but I just want The Walking Dead to survive somehow, right? Uh, for Carl, for sure. Uh, all right, so first picture we got, we got Carol, and she's uh, kind of in a standoff, it looks like, with some of most likely the saviors, as they're probably discussing who's been picking off these saviors that have been kind of uh, making these runs, be it either delivering the ethanol, which never arrived to the hilltop, or uh, with Justin being taken out at the end of episode two, who done it? One of those types of situations, which uh, could be fun to see, considering there's so many people now in the community. So it's going to be very tricky to figure out. We've had a slew of all kinds of different theories. Some people think it's Daryl. Some people think it's the Whispers. Some people think it's Carol. Some people think it's, I don't know, Henry. Some people think it's, it's Cindy or one of the Oceanside girls. There's a lot of different theories right now for, uh, for what's going on. So uh, it should be fun to see the next few episodes here, how this whole thing kind of shakes down. Most likely before the whispers just kind of show up out of nowhere uh and they might be responsible for the whole thing we'll see so pretty cool there you've got jerry by her side so it's true because carol's kind of like part of the uh she's joint joint survivor so they're all supposed to be one and on the same side but you know i would say for carol she's almost like a kingdomer now right if you, if you want to think of it that way so pretty cool first one i like this one a lot we've got uh, rick here and he's holding daryl's uh you know crossbow which is kind of cool. We've never seen him use the crossbow before, right? Daryl's like, you know, <laughs> claimed, right? So, uh, yeah, you know, that'd be cool to see. I don't know, you know, maybe he's looking for Daryl or something. He's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, but could we see uh, Rick fire off some uh, bolts from the crossbow? I don't know. I don't know. That'd be just, uh, just di it's just different to see. Uh, I don't dislike it. It's just, uh, just not what we usually see. It's kind of cool. Just, you know, I don't know. Just different. Uh, then we've got uh, Jerry here just kind of standing around again, probably similar to what we saw with the uh, with the Carol one there earlier. So not too much to say about that one. And uh, we've got Daryl here now. So here he is with his, uh, his crossbow back, and he's, he's intensely staring off into the distance at something. Uh, again, probably just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Maybe he's been uh, doing some tracking with Maggie or something, and they're trying to figure out what's been what's been happening, what what, what happened, and what's going on, right? So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we've got uh, Denagria, of course, uh, who plays Michonne. Uh, is she back in Alexandria? Kind of looks like it because you can see the doors, you're nice and new, and all that stuff. That looks like Alexandria behind her. So uh, yeah, we'll see with that one too. And we've got Anne, who looks to be back in her old uh, playground, the uh, the junkyard, which was her group, of course. Um, and some people don't even recognize it as Jadis now. I've had a, a number of people in the comments have been like, who is that person? It's like, that's, that's Jadis, man. And it's like, it is? Yeah, it is. So uh, maybe going after the helicopter, trying to figure out what's going on with that. Uh, we never got to find out 100% what connection she had with the helicopter. If she had some kind of deal worked out. Uh, if it's, you know, what group it's from, you know, where, what the helicopter's purpose is, what its goals or what its aims are. We just don't know. So is she going back to maybe try to uh, signal it down or to, to meet with whoever it was? Of course, her group is basically gone now. But um, that could be interesting to finally get some answers with regards to the helicopter. Because people have been wondering that for, you know, like I want to say years now or at least over a year. So that's kind of cool. And a lot of people like the development uh, with the relationship starting between her and uh, Gabriel last week. So that was really good. Uh, then we've got some more here with uh, Michonne uh judith and we've got rick as well too and uh it's very cute right all these pictures are really cute to see and uh, of course just a couple episodes left so uh you know any final kind of i don't know uh scenes here you know that they want to put in now is the time so next couple episodes to see so 
Hopefully we'll get a good number of those. I think they have added importance since we know that episode five is probably going to be the big one. So here we've got Rick as well too. And, and Michonne looks like they're having some kind of picnic or something with Judith. And that's really cute. Uh, again, same as the prior picture. Just, um, you know, uh, yeah. So very cool. Hmm. And we have this one here, which I do like as well too, where she's kind of like teaching, you know, getting her started early, right? Michonne teaching her how to maybe how to parry or block or you know, how to use the... Uh, how to use the sword, right? Got a good teacher, so um, yeah. So that's kind of fun as well, too. And you've got Rick, who's kind of he's just in the background there. He's got a stick too, but he's kind of maybe he's either not invited or he has to sit this one out. So I don't know, <laughs> like a playground. So that's cool that they kind of built a playground in uh, Alexandria for the kids and stuff. You got like the big tyrants. I wonder if Jay has helped with that, right? <laughs> I don't see any cat statues. Are there any cat statues in there? That's cool. Uh, another one here with Rick and Judith. Looks like she's reading. So you know that's fun too. Again, same kind of deal. Um, you know, definitely, uh, and, and I definitely won't be complaining about those kind of scenes, right? I mean, those are really, really important. Uh, we've got one here with Scott, who's still alive. See, so there are a few people still alive from Alexandria. There's not many. You know, a lot of people don't know that he's actually married in real life to Sonequa Martin-Green, who played Sasha, who's rumored or kind of news leaked to be returning possibly for a scene in the next few episodes, so we'll see about that. Uh, but it's cool to see that at least there's some Alexandrians that are still alive at this point in the uh, the series because there aren't many, especially now that Tobin was killed off last year during the second half of All Out War, season eight, second half of season eight, All Out War, I should say. Um, so yeah, not many left right now. Then we've got uh, Daryl and Maggie, and they're kind of looking at each other like they're up to something, right? <laughs> you know, they're up to something. Do they have the ethanol? What are they doing with it? Are they bringing it back to uh, Hilltop on foot? Are they trying to figure out what's been going on or, or, or what's happening? Um, huh, it, it's tricky. Or do they have something up their sleeves? Are they going to uh, initiate on the the saviors and, and go for it or something? I'm not sure, man. Uh, wow, we'll see. So, again, them walking down. Yep, same kind of deal. Them look, See, this one right here may, you know, makes me think that they're kind of checking around to see what might have happened or just kind of scouting around to see what they can find. So, um, you know, and, and that's something that we're probably going to continue to see with Daryl. Maybe him not being the leader of the whole, you know, surviving communities might be a good thing. Uh, if he did that, that he wouldn't be able to get down and dirty and get out there in the forest and, and do, you know, all those things that he usually does. Yeah, and then again, same kind of deal here. Not much more to add for that one. Then we've got one here with uh, Cindy. So, you know, huh, let's see, man. Uh, again, like I said, a lot of people think the ocean side. Uh, girls could be responsible, or one of them, or some of them could be responsible for the missing uh, saviors. And then we got one here with Rick as he's looking at, I think, Maggie. It's a weird angle, but, you know, the clothing and the hair seems to match, so that's kind of cool as well, uh, as well too. But he doesn't look too enthused. He's kind of half smiling or fake smiling. I don't know. <laughs> so that's it for the pictures. Now let's get into some of your guys' uh, Q&A questions for today. And one of them came in from James Cook who said, I reckon it's the little boy. So he thinks Henry's the one who's been, you know, <laughs> assassinating uh, saviors. And that'd be kind of cool, right? In like a comic book series version of uh, Carl kind of way. Uh, I do expect to see some kind of badass, uh, you know, uh, scenes from Henry or him getting up to something, uh, which should be kind of fun to see. So, so we'll see how far they can stretch that in the TV series version. Give him somewhat of maybe like a, a Lizzie type of feel. Or if you want to go Fear of the Walking Dead, uh, like a Charlie type of feel. So uh, that could be cool. And uh, we'll see, man. Uh, we'll see. Any, like I said, whoever gets it right, whoever makes the, the guess or the prediction and then ends up being right, uh, you can definitely take credit for it in the comments after uh, if you call that. Because that's because there's so many characters right now, it's pretty difficult to make a prediction on it. Like It's like, for me, I guess if I had to choose just one, it'd probably be... Like whispers, but you know, I mean, just who the hell knows, right? Uh, Renee H says, uh, Trev, I respect you for being honest, knowing that many people will disagree with your opinion. And yeah, that's something like you guys got to understand with me is that, you know, I do take into consideration how other people are feeling about, you know, the series at a certain point and where they're at. But I do my reviews straightforward with how I'm feeling about the episodes after I've seen them. And the thing is, with Sunday's episode, I thought about it a little bit more. It is a good episode, and I don't want to beat up on the episode you know, all week or do anything like that, because I know that most people loved it. I guess I'm not as into the sappy stuff as I thought I might be. You know, the uh, the relationship stuff kind of, maybe it stills me out a little bit. I don't know. Uh, it just, to me, is like, uh, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, it's just not my type of, of deal. But I know that for a lot of people, they love to see that. That said, 
I'm not the most, uh, you know, uh, emotional or romantic kind of person that you're going to find. Uh, that's for sure. I'm like a visual mathematician intelligence type. So that's not my deal, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's not, you know, it, it is what it is. It's just, um, you know, I didn't like Still. I remember there was people who liked it. I'm like, I don't like this man. Uh, so, but it's cool, you know. Um, Got to keep in mind that, um, you know, we just have a couple of these episodes left and then there's going to be some major changes and then we'll see how people, you know, are feeling about the series. And, and I can also, you know, tell you guys straightforward first off that I'll be honest about, you know, how, how I'm feeling after seeing episode five and that kind of stuff, as I always am, as I am with every series I review, whether it be a mid-season finale, character death and fear of the walking dead that pisses me off to no end, even to this day, or whatever it is, I can always promise you guys that I'll be straightforward with you and as honest as I can be. We'll also we'll also take it into consideration how the fan base is feeling and, and where the fan base is at as well too. Uh, just because I enjoy something or I don't doesn't necessarily mean that other people out there are going to be in the same boat, right? Uh, and, I, and I don't intentionally keep saying Walking Dead episode titles. They've done a lot of episodes now, <laughs> you know, so that's what's happening, what's going on. Oh, damn it, I did it again. Uh, Michonne's mom says, uh, Trev, kudos to... Um, Vincent Nerva on his point. Uh, it is one or more of the Oceanside ladies killing the saviors. So, okay. <laughs> Again, uh, there's another prediction for, for who it who it is. Um, Shadow Child said, so what happened to Gracie? Well, they kind of touched on it real quick, didn't they? they? Aaron said that she's she's doing well, that kind of thing. He's taking care of her. I think that's going to be a little bit more difficult for him now, considering uh, that he's you know got the one arm and the stub and everything. So that might be tricky. He might have to seek out Eugene to make him a makeshift prosthetic claw or something of the sort that he could use to take care of her. But, uh, yeah, it sounds like she's doing well, even though she hasn't had screen time. Um, but, you know, um, and again, see, that's something a lot of people would really like to see, right? And for me, I don't care. So <laughs> everyone's got their stuff, you know. Uh, everyone's got their, you know, their reasons why they tune in for. Uh, the Walking Dead crosses barriers. It crosses genres. It's not just horror, zombie apocalypse. A lot of people would refer to it as a drama. Uh, some people, if you watch seasons eight or some of seven or three, You'd have to say it's probably action. Uh, and then season five is like a lot like adventure with Morgan coming back and them going and traveling on the road and stuff. So uh, it crosses a lot of different genres throughout the series and, and the romance as well too and the, the, the drama between Shane, Laurie, and Rick and, and that kind of thing too and the who done it recently like a mystery, right? So there's lots of different themes throughout the series for sure. And um, everybody's going like, to like different things, right? It's just what it is. Uh, Hood815 said, a surprise you didn't do a video uh, for Walking Dead Day. And I didn't know that was a thing. I guess that's a thing now that The Walking Dead has a day of the year and it's a, it's a Walking Dead Day. I, I did, did you guys know about this? Nobody told me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nobody told me. Like, just because I read it on walkingdead.com, I'm like, is that, a, is that really a thing? Or are we, just, are we just acting like that's a thing? And that depends on consensus. That's, that's what that depends on. If everyone says it's a thing, it's a thing. But until everyone says it's a thing, I'm like, okay, Kirkman says it's a thing. WalkingDead.com says it's a thing. I don't know if it's a thing yet. But, okay, I guess there's a Walking Dead Day now. Uh, so, thanks, Hood. Thanks for the reminder. I didn't. I don't, I don't know. You know, there's a Walking Dead Day each year, I guess. I'll have to look up the date of what it was. It was recently. So, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm in the loop about this day stuff. I'm not uh, caught up on that. Um, KM1980 says, Trav, AMC already told us that Daryl is going to be the new leader. Uh, they already have him uh, talking more this season than he did all last season. Well, they didn't confirm that, and Norman Reedus denied it. So in terms of leader, as in leading the communities, um, but in terms of like series lead, he's, he's, ta he's in the AMC banner on their YouTube channel, or at least he was. And so he's the next, he's the biggest character in the show if Rick is dead. If Rick is killed off in episode five, Daryl is the biggest Walking Dead character going forward. He's the most important Walking Dead character there is. And luckily for us, fingers crossed, Norman Rita says that he's in it to win it. He's in it until the end. So uh, happy to hear that he's, that he's down for the long haul. And, uh, you know, us as fans, really happy for that. Um, and he's going to be a series lead in his own way. Just because he's the lead for the show doesn't necessarily mean that he has to be the overall community's leader making the macro decisions and all that stuff. He can still be in the nitty gritty. He can still be on foot, uh, you know, with Maggie going through the forest or whatever, trying to find out what the hell's going on um, while other people are doing different stuff. 
Uh, Tommy Sticks 87 says, uh, you know what's weird? Uh, there was this photo of Ross Marquand, a.k.a. Aaron, that made him look a little like comic Rick. I mean, if there's going to be a reboot and Andrew Lincoln wasn't interested, they could ask, well, okay, so he's saying they could ask uh, him to play Rick Grimes. But I don't think you do that. I think what you do instead with today's quality 1080p, you know, uh, 4K and all the different technology we have for, for um, you know, video going forward for the future, what you probably do is you probably have Aaron take over lead of Alexandria or Michonne. You can do whichever one you want. Or you give, if it's Michonne, fine, but you give Aaron uh, a lot of the lines or the responsibility that Rick had. That said, he's kind of so far played Mr. Nice Guy, so you would have to develop quite a bit. And you would have to give him his teeth. You would have to give him his uh, his dark side. And his. Uh, we'd have to see him get angry. We'd have to see him get upset with people. We'd have to see him, uh, you know, maybe punish people. Like in A New Beginning where this guy screws up on watch in the comics and Rick, like, like th- throttles him a little bit, <laughs> messes him up a little bit because he, he messed up. So, you know, Rick can be intense when he wants to be. Like if you look at this last episode, episode two, when Justin gets uppity with him or when he gets kind of crazy with him, Rick, you know, goes into goes into I want to say clear mode because that's Morgan's trademark season five mode, right? Uh, running over cops and you know told you to stop, right? Long beard mode, right? That's what Rick goes into. So we'd have to see um, Ross Marquand's character Aaron. We'd have to see him start to do more of that kind of stuff, and that could be development for him. You know, he could do it, and he certainly looks the part. So uh, that was a video yesterday. If you guys didn't see it, it's in the channel. You can check it out. And uh, you know, I mean, what, what are they, they gonna do? Something. So, okay, uh, let's see what. Let's see how it goes. Um, Daryl Dixon says, "Whisper is not far," and I think that's true. Yeah, I think the whispers are coming pretty soon. Should be soon anyway. Um, considering, yeah, because it depends who's gonna be responsible for episode five. So are they coming in just in time for episode five? Like in the next couple episodes. Or uh, do we have one more episode of kind of this uh, Civil War breakout, and then they come in right after? We'll see. Uh, Robert Collins uh, Laponte says, uh, Trev, do you think that they are hinting toward a council of the uh, survivors ruling over all the communities? Michonne, Carol, Daryl, Aaron, Jesus, Eugene, Ezekiel, Jerry. I think that is what uh, Norman meant in that interview. Maybe you're right, because Michonne did kind of talk about that real quick. And there are a lot of different survivors. Having one person delete them all, it's, uh, you know, yeah, maybe you do a council. Again, you want to go season four, right? You want to say retro season four. Instead of having Rick lead, um, you have a whole bunch of people get together, Herschel and Daryl and, and whoever else. They all get together on the council. And uh, granted, as long as there's no governor with a tank, you're good. And, and you decide what you're going to do uh, and what decisions you're going to make going forward. And the last one for today would be uh, from Marlon uh, Deitch, who says, uh, Not surprised you didn't care for it. Uh, some episodes of Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 were total garbage, and you seemingly loved them and gave them high scores. <laughs> so, again, like I said, you know, that's, that's why some people don't do reviews, you know, um, because when you're, doing, when you're doing a review of something, you try to be as objective as you can be, but it's always going to be somewhat subjective, because you are a fan of what you're... It's the difference between like a review or a critique, right? So what I do is reviews. Uh, I don't really do critiques. I'm not like a... Like, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not into that. You know, that's, that doesn't interest me. I'm a fan of the series. I love The Walking Dead as well as other series too. And uh, I watch the episodes through. And I'll let you guys know afterwards in the reviews how I felt about the episodes. If you agree, that's cool. If you don't agree, that's fine. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't really want to say there's a right or wrong, but you can be objective, or you can, you know, you can, um, you you can try to be as objective as you can be. Um, but we're all uh, subject to what we like, right? Obviously, we're all here because we like The Walking Dead. Otherwise, if we didn't like The Walking Dead, we wouldn't even discuss it. Clearly, right? So, uh, and The Walking Dead means, like I said, different things to different people. Uh, people like different aspects of the series, right? You know, some people they live for that, you know, that romance stuff in The Walking Dead that the, the the Walking Dead does every so often because it's not the main the main focus of the series. It's it's part of it. And it's a percentage, and uh, it's it's always been there since the beginning. Laurie, uh, uh, Rick, and Shane. So it's, it's a, that kind of drama, uh, love triangle based type of stuff has always been there. 
So, um, so yeah, so it's it's cool. Whatever people like, it's, it's cool either way. So that'll be it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you're thinking, how you're feeling, and uh, leave comments below, more questions for the Q&As, and I'll have a video for you guys tomorrow. As long as you ask enough questions, if you want to pick up a Trevor Chan 2 t-shirt, uh, link will be in the description, so you can check it out. Also, I have a Patreon if you guys want to tip or you know, help out the channel. You can do so through that. Link will be in the description. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you again soon for another video. As always, this is Trev. I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.